It's me, Chrissy. Oh my gosh, look at my new best friend. I would like to introduce you to Henry, the Frisian cross steer. Henry's 14 years old. He was a rescue. He came to Louise when he was 11 years old. Um, these guys lived for well over 20 years. Look at him, he's just, I've never seen anything so big and so magnificent. And I know you're looking at it going, which one's the cow? Don't I deserve that? Uh, like a child, absolutely beautiful temperament. Look how calm he is. He's going to a party later. He's got his little fairy bread here on his horns. Uh, he's quite a rascal. He can let himself out of this property and he takes his friend Sheldon, who's a cow. They go for a walk down the road and visit the neighbours. Uh, and also when the neighbours, when, when, when their cows have babies, he goes and sits with the babies all day while mum goes off and plays. And his other party trick is he's takes himself in the house and he sits on the sofa. He knows where every room is in that house. I don't know how he fits in. And also when Louise goes to work, he goes down, he sits at the front gate and he waits for her to come home. So he's just beautiful. And, and what's really interesting, this is a scoop for us because Henry's never been on social media. They've never done a TV story about him. So we got it first. Thank you so much, Louise. And we can't even tell you what suburb he is in or where we are, because she's frightened someone would pinch him. But if you're going to pinch him, you'd have to bring a mighty big truck. So that is our gorgeous Henry. And I love standing next to him because he makes me look so little. Now, any questions from my crew? Any questions? Don't all yell at once. I think we've covered everything on Henry, haven't we? Oh, how's my hair? Do I look fabulous. Do I look fabulous? <laughs> Darlings, good afternoon, it's me Chrissy. This is a very special afternoon because I'm wearing a frock. I don't own a frock. This is the first frock I've ever worn since I got married. That was a long time ago. So thank you to my dear friend Bryony who gave me this. I love you much. Uh, bit excited this afternoon. If you have a look behind me up there on the hill. See the house on the hill? We are going up there to film a story the lovely Tracy who breeds the most beautiful, amazing dogs. I won't tell you anymore except they're white and fluffy, a bit like me without pink in my hair. So I'm pretty chuffed today because I have a chauffeur. That's why I put the frock on because I thought I'll try and be a lady today. So I'm just going to summon the chauffeur. guest here Tracy. Tracy's kindly welcomed us into her house to meet these beautiful dogs that she breeds. They are Pyrenees Mountain Dog. Pyrenean Mountain Dog. I can't even spell Pyrenean. <laughs> Please and thank you. Thank you for inviting us into your house. I was here last time filming. Tracy's husband is Bruce who played the bagpipes last time we were here so we're a bit excited to be invited back. Oh a black dog. We've got yes. top dead. <laughs> Now tell us about your dogs. Tell us whatever you want because everybody out there watching I'm sure grew up with dogs and would love to know sure. about these magnificent animals. These are Pyrenean mountain dogs. Yes. They're from the Pyrenees mountains between France and Spain. Um, and they're livestock guardians and they're bred to look after uh, flocks of sheep and goats up in the mountains and protect them from uh, big predators like wolves and bears. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, if yes. I saw one of these coming, I think it was a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so that they, do they protect the animals here? Like, I know there's lots of sheep around here at the moment and they're all lambing. Is that what you say, lambing? Lambing, Having yes. little ones? Yes. Uh, we use them mostly to help with our poultry. They look after, we have uh, Belgian and French Favreau Bantams. Right. Um, and so uh, they protect them from uh, the foxes and they protect oh, them wow. from the eagles. We have a lot of eagles. Oh, really? Wolves. So they're very good at protecting them from the eagles and hawks. 
and uh, they're, they're also inside with us because we love them and they're, they're our, our pets as well. Oh darling! <laughs> Do the eagles come down and take the lambs? Uh, no, we haven't seen them take the lambs, but they definitely take all our, our rabbits oh, and, really? and other, other oh, um, oh my gosh. animals around. And they, they will take the chickens if they get a chance. And they normally take the weaker oh. one, don't they? If there's a weak one. That's what I found at home with my doves. <laughs> if, if the eagles come down or any of them, if, if there's a weak if dove. There's one on their own or the other yeah. doesn't hide quick enough. Yeah. Yeah. So the Pyrenees just keep oh. them away. Wow. Yeah. They and see them coming. Do you? Do they have this coat in summer? Uh, yes, they do shed out a lot in summer. They shed a lot of hair all the yeah. time. So we we call we say Pyrenean hair is a condiment and an accessory. Really? Uh, you wear it all. You can wear it, and you end up eating it half the now, time. Now, is this the magic hair like the poodles that you don't get an allergy to? No, no, <laughs> no. I have to ask. Uh, if, even poodles is, is not. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's less allergenic, but not hypoallergenic. Right. This uh, this coat. It's mostly people are allergic to what's on the coat or from the saliva, not the hair. Oh, so, okay. Yes. So, but, how long do one of these guys live for? Our average is 10 to 13 years. Wow. 10 to 13 years. And who's this one? This is Grace, and she's Grace. nearly 12. Oh, wow. She's, she's a big 12. girl. <laughs> she's a bit too big. She I enjoys think, her retirement. I think she's bigger than me. I like her. And who's this one? This is Nana. She's Nana. seven, and she's Grace's daughter. Oh, oh my gosh. What a wonderful thing to have. And you look like a bloke. Is this no, a bloke? No, that's <gasps> Louise. Oh, sorry, Louise. I'm oh, oh, sorry. It's and Louise is Grace's half-sister. Right. And the other one, this number four, is Missy, and she's two, and she's Louise's daughter. Wow. And, and do these gorgeous babies, do they sleep inside? Yes. I yes. bet they love it when that pot belly's on. They don't actually. They no? prefer the cool. Oh, are you kidding? So on a yeah. stinging hot summer's day, where would you find one in the garden? Uh, on a hot summer's day, they're inside in the air conditioning <laughs> on the cool tiles. Oh, um, I love it. I love you. <laughs> Uh, they, that's where they like to be, but at night they, they sleep, they, we have multiple couches and, mm. and they cuddle on the bed occasionally and they, they get too hot on the bed. Really. Your mummy dog that's got her daughter here, did she give birth to her here? Yes, Grace and Louise have their litters here, yes. And how many normally in a litter? Uh, it can vary, it can vary from uh, average is around six, but it can be a lot more or a lot less. So right. it's, it just depends on a lot of factors. And, and how long are they pregnant for? Uh, 63 days. Wow, well, gosh. So you have a fabulous website. Yes. Which I had a look at, Thank and you. it's espiday.com. Is that correct? That's right. E S P I N A Y. That's right, Espinay. Espinay. Yes, that's the name, that's the kennel name. Oh, that's okay. My kennel name, Espinay Pyrenean Mountain Dogs. So if anybody wants to go there and buy one, well, I do have a very long waiting list. Very and long. <laughs> and it, it's quite a process. You, you will get grilled quite a bit. <laughs> As you do now to get a pet. Whether it's a cat or a dog, you get grilled and I'm 100% for it. And all my puppy owners know that they're they're part of my family for life. Yes. I'm in contact with everyone from the minute the puppy goes home till, <laughs> till, the, till they die. It must be so hard partying with the little ones when you brought them up. It is, it is hard, it is hard, but I'm always pleased that to, to give the families, their, their new families, the joy of, of owning them. And it must be so heartwarming when you find the right family for the dog. Yes. Someone you think the dog's going to fit in, you're happy, yes. Bruce is happy, new owner's happy, dog's happy, and that's what it's all about. That's right. I always make sure that each puppy goes to the home that's going to suit it best. Wow. Because we're in the process of getting a cat, and we are going through exactly the same thing. Exactly. And it's a whole new learning process for me, but I know at the end of the day, I'm going to have a beautiful cat. Any responsible breeder is going to ask a lot of questions. Yeah, and so they should. should. And especially with COVID, because everyone's running out buying pet yes. animals. <laughs> and when COVID disappears and everyone's back at work, there's going to be a lot of animals not getting much attention and at home. And so you've, you've really got a lot to consider when you bring a new that pet right. into the you family. You really have to think of the long term. You have to think of the, the, 
the 10 to 13 years that you will have that's, this Yeah, before. that's right. Yeah, I, I was saying to a girlfriend, you know, we're thinking of getting a cat, and she went, well, they can live for 19 years. You mightn't have 19 years left in you. And I went, oh my God, what a terrible thing to say. I'm still having the cat. I've got family. <laughs> I think if you see something and you want it, buy it. And if you want a pet and you can give it all the love and attention, go for it because they're pretty special. They're very special, aren't they? Now? Oh, I forgot the big thing, Tracy. And how much shampoo do you use and conditioner? I want to know. <laughs> I have a whole grooming room out in the shed and it's set up with what we call a hydro bath, which is a special dog bath yes. with the, the pump and the recirculating water, grooming table, blow dryers, the whole thing. Oh wow, I might just duck in for a little blow dry before I go. <laughs> yes, um, my dog's shampoo is more expensive than the one I use I was, myself. I was thinking about it, how much you must go through. Just for one, <laughs> little alone, all of them. Even the quality of the shampoo is better for the dogs than it is for me. Better than Bruce's shampoo? <laughs> oh, he doesn't use much. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> well now, is there anything else you want to say before we wind up? No, I think thank you for coming. Oh no, thank you from the bottom of my heart because I'm sure everyone watching can relate and everyone's grown up with a dog or got a dog and, and I hope I've asked all the right questions and I hope you've enjoyed our segment. Thank you for inviting us into your home. We feel very special, don't we? I've got dog saliva all over me now. <laughs> <laughs> dog saliva and dog hair. Do yes. Oh, that's why I wore black. Yeah, great. Um, so if you want to check out Tracy's dogs, please go to Espinay. Dot com. And you're on Facebook? Yes, Espinay Pyrenean Mountain Dogs on Facebook. Espinay Pyrenean Mountain Dogs on Facebook. Chuck her a like. Thank you, darlings. God bless, and I'll see you around like a donut. Just like our business at Southern Cross Funerals is family owned, it's great to have Chrissy on our team as part of our family. Chrissy brings so much joy to so many people. It's great to see what she does and the smiles that she brings to people's faces every day with her shows and walkabouts. We started working with Chrissy over 12 months ago and it's been one of the best decisions we've made at Southern Cross Funerals. Just seeing the amount of joy and happiness that her and her feathered friends bring to residents and facilities alike makes it all well worth it. She'll be back soon, no doubt, bringing joy and happiness and smiles wherever she walks. Who can forget that? Pink hair.